Hello, everyone. It's Vicky J. Um, I'm just going to apologize in advance for the lighting. I am home from work and just not really in the mood to bring my uh, standing lamp over here. So this is what it's going to be for now. I wonder if I can probably balance this behind it. Let's see if that'll work. Show enough. Show enough did. Hi. Hello, Miss Lala. And welcome. Okay, I'm just gonna give you guys a couple minutes to come on in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello, uh, Natisha. How you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Keisha. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hey, Miss Lori. Hello, Deanna. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Coco. All right. Um, before we get started, please do hit the thumbs up button. And then um, I have got like, I think I'm going to start with the Sephora haul because I know that, you know, we're going to really like dive into the Pat McGrath. Um, so I'm just going to get the Sephora stuff out of the way first. But yeah, um, just got home from work. Today's look, um, I didn't put any foundation on. I just used the Dior concealers. And um, I like it. It's nice. <laughs> it works. I'm really feeling it. <clears throat> and it was a good day today. Today was just a really nice day, y'all. I just... I left home a little early so that I could go pick up uh, my Sephora. And then I had some time because I just went in there and did what I had to do. And then I had some time. So I started walking around the mall. Express was having a big old sale. I grabbed myself a couple of scarves, honey. <laughs> and um, I then... Wait, I'm sorry. Oops. I know who that is, but what? Yikes. Um, <laughs> hey, Nika. And then um, I popped on over to Aldo. I haven't been in Aldo since I was in high school. And I got a really fantastic bag. Um, I don't really know. I'm not even going to tally it up. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> Let's just say I exceeded my monthly budget. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so. <laughs> so let's get crack a lacking, shall we? Ugh. Here's my, my Sephora bag. Here we go. Hi. Welcome. So the big thing was Sephora is having a sale on all this, like pretty much all the Sephora Pro brushes. There's a couple here and there, a couple of scragglers that ain't on sale. But honey, please do yourself a favor. If you are a synthetic brush user, user um, and get yourself, uh, get yourself on over to the app or the store or whatever. And <laughs> we're just going to start with brushes. Oh, I almost forgot. I grabbed this one too. There we go. <laughs> Woo! You see? Let me just make sure that's there, body. Nope, oh, nope. Here we go, another one. Oh, there's some more at the bottom. <laughs> um, I think. That's all the brushes. Is that all the brushes? Let me just make sure that's all the brush. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> here, here we are. Here comes the bride with her bouquet of brushes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so most of these are eye brushes. <laughs> because I like most of these are eye brushes. Fun stuff, okay? So let's start with the smaller bunch because nothing was none of none of the brushes here 
exceeded 16 bucks each. The number 88 here is the Pro Slanted Buffing Brush. I haven't even, let me just crack this open here. I didn't even crack it open yet. Okay. All right, there we go. So yeah, this is the number 88 Slanted Buffing Brush. Hello, Rhea. Another soft, dense foundation brush. I absolutely love these. I even feel like this would be really great for cream products because it's very densely packed. So that's what, oh, it feels so good. Mm. <laughs> so number 88, that's first. And then I have the slanted core diffuser. Remember how I was telling you guys? Um, I did see that. Yeah, they've actually been cranking out some really nice stuff in um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls these days. Now, this is a slanted diffuser. I really love the diffuser series. That's pretty much my favorite foundation brush is the uh, core diffuser, like the original one. So I wanted to get some up. All right, and so this one goes like this. This is a number 95. And then, um, oh yeah. I love these. I really love these because they're like just little like flat top kabukis in the center. And then they have these um, slightly uh, lower br um, bristles that end up kind of um, helping you sweep the product. So you're buffing and sweeping. I really love these duo fibers. They are excellent. And then this one I actually got off Poshmark. So this is like, a, but it is a Sephora Pro brush. And um, I got the number 66, which I actually used the other day. But this is the concealer version of it, the number 67. And this is for like, you know, going um, all along up in here. It's very detailed and it's shaped like a beauty blender, which I think is super cute. So next are all eye brushes, as I mentioned, this one here is the Airbrush Detailer number 57. All right. There we go. I'm loving cracking these open. It's so great. Now, I did go back to uh, Sephora JCPenney. And again, she's still not there, that girl. <laughs> um, so, ooh, this is nice. Yeah, I love this. This is going to replace the Morphe brush that looks really similar. And I like the way this one feels a little better. This is like that, um, it's almost like the crease detailer, like very similar in style, but it's a little bit shorter and fatter. I do too like the Airbrush series, Lori. That's why I collected every last one of them. Okay, so next up is the Drawing Shadow Brush number 41. Now, some of these I got from Sephora in uh, Providence Place and others I picked up from Sephora JCPenney just because I knew they would have it. So here we are, but I checked all my brushes, honey. I checked them. So this is a really fine, like, like a nice point. I feel like this would be really awesome for um, detail work in here. So I'm very excited about those, about this rather. No loose ferrules. I shook every last one of these suckers. I wasn't playing around. Okay, and then I got some online too. I ordered some online. Airbrush series. This is one, this is one, this is one. They're very feather light. They're very feather light, but these are all the, oh no, this is feather weight. What am I saying? <laughs> the airbrush, I'm sorry. The airbrush series is, um, it gives you an airbrushed finish, basically. So they're designed to give you an airbrushed finish. I have the number 55 airbrush, um, and that's really awesome for blush. It's probably not what it's for, but that's what I use it for and I live for it. 
I, it's pretty much my go-to blush brush. It's incredible. All right. How am I going to break into this one? Let me see. Whew. Good thing I don't bother with manicures because... Hey, Dandelion. Oh, you did? <laughs> I have all of those. I have all the Featherweight series. I love it. Love the feather. Ever since they first came out with it, I think I got the fan brush first. Then I got the complexion brush. And then um, when the highlighting brush or the whatever they call it, blending brush went on sale, I got that. And now I have the, um, what else did I get? I can't remember how many things they were, but I got them all. All right. So then this one is the number 27 blending brush. Just like there. Standard blending brush, my guy. And so this one is slightly paddled like flat on this end and wide on this end. So I feel like this will work really well, you know, obviously blending out the crease. Hey, shoe lady. And since I'm, um, you know, hooded up in here, I think they might. I think they might and they should. But yeah, all up in here. I'm really excited about that one too. I've been waiting very patiently for these brushes to go on sale because I've been wanting the eye brushes for a minute. Like a like years, so I just literally went crazy when they went on sale. <sighs> okay, All right, and then this one is the number fourteen shadow brush, very similar to the shader, but hey, bugga bugga. <laughs> I hear it. <laughs> so you see how the difference here is that. That's definitely flatter and wider, shorter, etc. This one I thought was really interesting. They're calling this an angled lip brush, but I'm going to tell you what I'd like to use it for. This is number 84. Okay, so this is, and this was the last one of these that I got, like, literally just grabbed it because it was the last one. I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. But when I saw it, like when I actually looked at it, I was like, you know something? This would be really nice to clean up your brows with, girl. Don't you think? Don't you think that would be cute? Like, peep this. Peep this. Watch it. Like, going, going, just hitting, just hitting right there. And then doing this right here because it's angled. Just boom. Boom, and then hit that taper real quick and just pow. I just really feel like that's going to do that. So I'm going to give it a shot. And I mean, it was like eight bucks. <laughs> it was only eight dollars. So I said, hey, that's right. Okay. And then this one here is the tapered crease brush number 19. Goodness gracious. I swear like these, all these eye brushes were like 11 and 12 dollars. So I just could not. I just could not leave him there. Hey, sweetheart. I, I, can you please not break my, my lampshade? Thank you. I keep it. Mm-hmm. Nala has her own brushes. To, I, 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 you leave that pat alone. You leave that pat alone. Sure. So I draw the line. <laughs> All right, y'all. So. <laughs> she ain't gonna do me like she did me with that Natasha palette. We ain't having a repeat. All right. <laughs> this here is the um, tapered crease brush. Again, it looks very similar to these in like terms of the brush, uh, the bristles themselves, but the shape is very obviously very different. So there that is. I got two more. I know there's a bunch of brushes clean in it clean in the dang sand i can't wait to show y'all this uh pat mcgrath order cannot wait i i am whew, i'm excited about the way it was presented to me <laughs> like that's the thing i can't wait to show y'all um oh, i think i just lost my little spot here hey courtney i think i just oh there we go there we go Sometimes it's don't let me be as smooth as I want to be. Has. Definitely. And I've been watching her. <laughs> she, 
She made me turn right back around and go get that medium. Yeah, this, this is driving me crazy. Okay, so this one here is the Airbrush Shadow number 30. Number 30. I thought that said 80 for a second there. Now, this is, I like my brushes like this. I like that packing brush because it makes really quick work of your lid. Like, just because I have a small mobile lid, so just boom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all are killing me right now. All right, and last one here is the Drawing Blending Brush, number 42. So I guess they had a drawing series. But, you know, I don't even know if I can say, like, maybe I spent 120 on all these brushes. This is a lot of brushes. And then I'm getting what I want. Like, I get to pick it out myself. So I, I'm very pleased. All right, hold up. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shape this one. My my bristles are splayed. I'm gonna have to shape that one. But this is very hard to come by, so I'm still glad I got it. And I'll just shape it up. You know, a little something. something. No, not Euro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it right up in here and I'm going to let it sit there for a little bit. There we go. So yes, y'all. My God, there's a bit of a mess. Let me clean up a little bit and then we'll get into the next round of items that I purchased. So those are all the brushes. And I'm not necessarily going to show you all of them, but I did get a lot of uh, cleansing cloths like my makeup removing cloths because I like to use them to clean up my workspace, wipe off swatches, and take off makeup. So I just need a lot. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank God this trash is right underneath me. Because then I'd be running all over the place otherwise. All right. So that's that on that. And then I'll put these caps somewhere else. I have a little um, container that I keep my caps in just in case I want to sell these brushes later. I have all the caps. All right, next up. Um, let's do Fenty Beauty real quick. I'm gonna just get that out the way because it's more brushes. All right, so Fenty Beauty. This is not from Sephora. This is from Fenty Beauty website because Rihanna had a uh, birthday sale where if you spent $50, you got a free full-size kilowatt duo pan highlighter. And you got to pick it, which I love. So since the minimum was $50, I just bought the three brushes that I didn't have that I wanted. And then I got my highlighter. So, hey, sweet thing. I came. I came. Yeah. Did you get some? Did you get some ice cream? I didn't. It's all gone. Oh, yeah. It's all gone. Okay. Well, I'm glad you had some. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed your ice cream. <laughs> so, this one is the number 240 eyeshadow brush. This is a little bigger than, um, like, wider and almost, like, kind of fans out a little bit. So that's pretty cool. I like that. They're so pretty with the rose gold and everything. Let's keep them all in the same, same container. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I was so grateful. And then the next one I got is... The Precision Blending Brush. And this is number 230. I really just love the design of her brushes. I think they're so pretty. And they perform well. Okay, I'm just going to pull that down so you guys can see. I like that her blending brush is slightly tapered. It's a little different from the Sephora ones. Not tapered, I'm sorry. It like fans out. And I like how it's rounded because you can even get a little bit of precision going with that. 
And then lastly, we have the Precise Definition Brush. This one must be newer because the packaging is a little bit different. I think when the um, Snap Shadows came out is when this brush came out. And this one has a nice point to it. So this is another detailer. And you can even use this on the lower lash line, which is what I want to use it for. So there we go. Just putting it with the rest of my Fenty brushes. So then my highlighter that I decided to get was uh, Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. Love the packaging. This is, this is gorgeous. So let me just pop this open so you can see. Oh no, that is sealed shut. Let me just try the other side then. It's got the typical packaging on the outside, but we all know what we're really here for, honey. Boom. Check it out. Okay, L and L. Yes, I cannot wait to play with these. Can you imagine this as your like highlight and this as your blush? Uh, oh, yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. I even have the lip in mind already. I've already got it going on. And then the tropic shadows in my eye. Whoo! Get out! Yes! Mmm. I am stoked. All right. So since I need to wipe my hands off, I'm going to just show y'all I got some wipes. I got about five of these. <laughs> I got five packs of wipes. Um, three are sitting in my drawer there. And then I got these two while I was, like, actually in a Sephora store. My God. Slippers. You want to wear your slippers, boo boo? Yes, you don't like wearing your. No, you. No, she don't. She doesn't like wearing slippers. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna toss these boxes and packaging. We're gonna try to clean as we go. So, like, did not have to break the bank, and I got a product that's worth, I think, what are they, thirty-eight bucks for free. I don't know. I don't know about you, but for me, that's a deal. Next up. Next up. Let's have a look here. Okay, I want to get this out of the way because it's boring. <laughs> this is the Ole Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. I got this because I'm running out of toner. So I just got another toner. And this has been on my loves for a little while. I've been wanting to try this out. And um, the young lady who cashed me out said that she uses Mama. it as well. Mama. Yes, sweetheart. Mama. Yes. Mama. Yes, it is. Order. Black. That's, that's great. <laughs> She's um, making a mess of her bows whatever makes her happy. So <clears throat> I'm excited about that because I mean, I've heard nothing but great things about this toner. And so here we go. Yeah. So I'm hoping to get the same results because I have lots of dark spots and I really need some help with them. So I'm hoping that that works out for the best. Now, next up, are two things that I also have been been sitting on my loves for a very long periodically time. <laughs> and that, uh, that is, these are, they are the NARS um, liquid blushes, both of them. I have um, Dolce Vita and Torrid, and we're going to swatch. These are so pretty. I swatched them in store to make sure I wanted them, and then I dropped them right in the bag. Like, they are so nice. Oh my goodness. I said to myself, I have to get a moment where I just, you know, go in there and swatch them and see what they're really about. And so we did that. So this one right here is Dolce Vita. <laughs> I 
Okay, here's here's uh, Dolce Vita. And then this one is Torrid. And at first I was only gonna get Torrid. I was only gonna get Torrid first, but look at how different they are. They're both so pretty. I can help myself. So it does come with a pump. Just get yourself. And lit, ooh, this stuff goes such a long way. Such a long way. Look at that right there. I'm going to show you how much it spreads out. Ooh, the shimmer in this one. Thank you, honey. Actually, why don't you just take it for gas? Why don't you take that for gas? Thanks. So, <clears throat> this one has some sparkle in it. You still have half a tank, sweetheart. So there we go. On your way back, okay? So, isn't that gorge? Every day, very cute. And that teeny tiny drop is what gave me all of that. It's like all right here. And I still have some. So yeah, very pigmented. It blends out beautifully, beautifully. And then we've got Dolce Vita. And I'm gonna put that on this hand. Again, very small amount. Goodness gracious, look at all this coverage, honey. Do we love it? This one is matte. This one doesn't have shimmer in it. This one has some shimmer. It's so pretty. It's gold shimmer and it's very like peachy coral. And then this one for me is like, um, this is a dusty mauve. They're both gorgeous. I mean, you need both. You need both. Okay. Leave that Abraham. What are you throwing? You see this girl? What is she doing? Fish. What is she doing? I don't know what she dropped there. She, something Lola! Like God. Don't eat it. <laughs> I don't know what she just put in that tank. Yes, I did. Whatever that is, we got to get it out of it. Nala, don't drop nothing else. She done fed this thing cookies. Oh, I got to get that out of there. I don't even know what that is. I uh, can't Give me the... Excuse me, you guys. Nala, don't drop nothing else in this tank. What is going on with you? Yes, you did, and it's a no-no. Wow! He did it. Water. 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 Just hold on. Let me get that out of there. And you can hang it back up. Thank you. Water. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, Nala. Where's your tablet? Okay, so those are stunning, right? We love. Moving left and right along with Kaja Beauty. <laughs> now that I think about it, I got two more coming in the mail. I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I got the rest of the Kaja Beauty line, uh, Bouncing Bentos. I got the rest of them, honey. There's three, and then there's two more on the way. Like, I love these so much. Let me show you what I got. Her and that headband, that's so cute. Ooh, oh my goodness. Don't even give me that. Okay, look at the colors on this one here. This is Sparkling Rose, and these are all shimmers. Ooh, honey. Mm. 
All right. Let's have a look, okay? Get, get into this shimmer. <coughs> Oof. Look at that one right there. Look, look, look at that one right there. These are so pretty. These are so darn pretty. All right. Aren't these beautiful? Oh my God. I love these so much. These are so stinking pretty. Sophisticated shimmer. Hey, Kamita, what's up, sweetie? Um, These are gonna pair beautifully with Hella Azalea which is the other one that I originally had. This one here, because this has some mattes in it. Are you taking me to? These two are going to look absolutely yeah. stunning together. Then, we've got rose water. I could not leave this. These are eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. These are $21 each, and it's three shadows. Most of them come with mattes, like a um, transitional crease and a shimmer, but some of them are just shimmers on their own. And they pair nicely with the existing trios. And look at how small and cute they are. I just, I live. So then this one, like I said, is rose water. Mm. There's an orange one that I have coming in the mail, y'all. Yes, yes, Kaja Beauty exclusively at Sephora. Or KajaBeauty.com, I'm pretty sure. They are. They're so stinking cute. And $21 is priced to move, honey. Yeah, this is another all shimmer. And this one, I'm going to show you what it goes really nicely with. So this is... um. The deepest of the shimmers, the medium one, and then the lightest. And I like these two because this is definitely a pinky champagne and this is a yellow gold. Uh, yep, it's the pale yellow gold. Oh my God, so pretty. Ugh. This is so, so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Listen, hold up. Let me show y'all what this pair with. This right here is glowing guava. This is glowing guava. Tell me these two wouldn't be match maids in heaven. These are so pretty. This is stunning. Wait till y'all see the one that goes with the chocolate. I don't know if I... Yes, I do. I have it right here. Okay. Woo! This one goes with chocolate Dahlia, which I'm just wearing the mats on my eyes right now. I'm just wearing the mattes on my eyes from Chocolate Dahlia, but Chocolate Dahlia does come with a shimmer. Um, and I said to myself, self, you need one more that complements that Chocolate Dahlia. So I went ahead and I got toasted caramel. And he just left the door just wide open. What's the reason? Oh my God. Mmm. Mm -mm. This is another all shimmer. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This looks like candy. Are you kidding me? These look like candy. Let me just swatch these right quick for y'all. Mm. This? This? And this is Chocolate Dahlia right here. So then we got, look, look, look. That's so beautiful. Don't it? A shimmery ass Reese's. Oh, oh, like you fell into the upgrade you video. Remember Beyonce saying upgrade you? This is toasted caramel. And I'm gonna show you what um, Chocolate Dahlia looks like because Chocolate Dahlia is absolutely gorgeous. This has two mattes and a shimmer in it. And I just feel like those two complement each other so nicely. So here are all the colors for Chocolate Dahlia. This is the crease, this is the, the transition, and then this is the shimmer. I'm gonna show y'all Chocolate Dahlia right now. I'm gonna do it on my other hand so you can see them together. Boom. Look at that. If that isn't the most like perfect that transition almost blends right into my skin this is perfect 
And imagine that, that all you have to do is bring these two things with you instead of palettes. That's what I'm saying. These are incredibly convenient and I'm obsessed. Oh, I wouldn't. Nah. I would give these, you know, what would I give these? I would say they're on par with like maybe Natasha Denona. I would give them that. Not as like buttery, but they're definitely soft. I mean, I'm, we're looking at a, a big price difference. So I would say, you know, like somewhere in between ABH and Natasha, somewhere in the, in the middle there. Because they're definitely better than ABH, in my opinion. There's no... Even though they have lighter shades, they're not dusty. Um, and yes, I'm... Yes, that's shade. <laughs> yeah, man. You gotta have them, Kamita. You gotta have them. Because you told me you were going to Sephora tomorrow. $21 each. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're all here because we enjoy nice things... <laughs> You know, twenty one dollars ain't much of nothing, right? Ain't too much of nothing, honey. All right, I'm just cleaning up my mess as I go, as I mentioned before. And so, next up, <laughs> um, next up is just something I grabbed because I really like these, and this is um, Kevon D's brow powder in taupe. It's in the sales section for eight dollars if you ever see it. Go ahead and grab you some. When I tell you there were a ton of them where I was, they had the dark browns, they had the black, they had the granite, they had all of them. Every last one of them. These are the bomb. Um, so this is taupe. I'm literally wearing it right now. Right now. And I really like it, but I need to pair it with like a medium brown, um, a medium brown brow gel to get it to where I need it to be. There is no perfect brow color for me right now. There just isn't because I'm still exploring because I have the platinum hair and I'm bleaching my brows and they're lighter and all that. But I like it mixed with the medium brown brow gel. It really slays with the Il Maquillage Truffle. It really slays. On its own, it's a little too ashy, but I like the ashiness in conjunction with the medium brown. So there we go. And it's only $8, so who gives a damn? Um, <laughs> and lastly, someone mentioned Marc Jacobs in the previous chat over at Lori's chat. And so I wanted to show you that I got three of the highliners. I believe these are called, yeah, the highliners. I wanted some colorful liners. Can you close the door, sweetie? Thank you. Um, I wanted some colorful liners. So I went ahead and did that. I got some eyeliners. These are 25 bucks. These are for your eyes. They're shimmery, colorful liners. And I had to remember that I bought the Fenty ones. So I was like, okay, whatever I'm getting today can't be anywhere near what I already have. And I think I did a really good job. Stopped myself at three. <laughs> so look at that color right there. Mm, come on. These are these are banging. These are going to be these are going to be for my waterline. Get into these colors, honey. My daughter did not let my husband sleep at all. Yes, these are Marc Jacobs. So here's my three colors. And this purple one is called Lunatic. The middle one is called Whirlpool. And the one on the end is called Sunset. These are gorgeous. Are you deceiving me now? I'm gonna just go ahead and give myself a nice little swipe. Mm, these are gorgeous. These are gonna hit that waterline like whoa. This right here with them pink ones from Kaja. Out of my mind. I just can't wait. I think I'm gonna use my decadence palette and add this in the waterline. 
No, they were not. I really did just spend $25 on each one. <laughs> yes, I did. I just wanted them. <laughs> there are some that are on sale. Um, but I said, you know, I don't feel like waiting. <laughs> I like these. I want these. Let me get these. So there that is. And that is it for my Sephora haul for now. Because I have those two, the, the last two Kaja Beauty Bentos are coming in the mail. And that's all that's in that was just them two. So um, that's why I didn't want to wait for it. I was like, let me just do the haul. Okay. I'm going to actually put this away now too. And then we can get into this Pat McGrath box. Throw a like in the, in the throw a like at me if you're ready for Pat. All right. Because this is exciting. <laughs> tear off that because I don't want my address to show. All right, y'all, it's time for Pat. Here's my, here's my Pat box. <laughs> now, we all hate the confetti, right? We hate the confetti. Please tell me y'all also hate the confetti because I hate the confetti. I'm sick of the confetti. Stop with the confetti, Auntie Pat, please. Please. I don't want to have to open your packages over my garbage. <laughs> now, when I open this package, this is how it came. <gasps> this is how it came! Are we excited? No freaking confetti! <laughs> I was like, I cannot wait to show my subscribers. I cannot wait. Come on, mother. Listening to the people. I, I'm sorry, Miss Sparkles. I will gladly hand you my confetti from now on because I can't take it. I said, ha, lay, loo. Come through. So this is everything that I ordered. This is the gang's all here. We got um, two... Of the, uh, <laughs> we got two of the powders. I hope these are in good condition. I've been seeing a lot of people receiving them shattered. I hope these are all right. They look all right. Let's pray. Um, we got two concealers. Two concealers. And as I'm looking at them, there's not a huge difference between the two, but we'll see. I got the brush duo. And then that's it for the concealer release. Then I got two more liners because I love these. These are the Permagel lip liners. I've almost completed my collection of those. And then I got two Lux Trance lipsticks, honey, because I I didn't have none. I don't have any Lux Trance lipsticks, and I need them. Um, I don't know if she's discontinuing, reformulating, what the deal is, but we'll just set that aside. And we'll focus on the concealer stuff. Because I know I have to cut this open. And again. <laughs> you know the confetti. No, Lux Trance came out with the matte trance and the blitz trance. It was all her bullet lipsticks. But it's just different, um, different textures. So these are the, I guess, satin lip formula. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you like it because that is a really nice balm. This makes you feel so bougie, honey, putting that on. You're like, let me put on my $40 lip balm right quick. Let me get these lips together. <laughs> so this one is, oh, I'm so scared it's going to be shattered. This one is, I got deep and medium. So... Let's just see which one this is here. This is deep. I'm trying to keep every single piece of, of uh, sequins up in here. Right, one straggler. Get on off there. Get on off. Okay. So that is contained. Thank goodness. 
It looks good. It looks good. Let's. Well, this, oh, good. It's in perfect condition. Here we are. This is supposed to just be for your under eyes and it's supposed to smooth and blur. And from what I've seen from people who have tried it already, it absolutely does what it says it's supposed to do. So I'm just gonna, this is the deep. Mm, that feels nice. So here's the deep. Now I was a little confused as to, you know, cause with her powders, loose setting powders, they, they darken when they hit your face. So I had to go in and get like, I got like two of them. <laughs> I got the, um, the three and the four cause I got the four initially and it was a little too dark. So I got the three and it's perfect. So then with these, I was like, Ooh, I don't know. Is that, is the deep gonna be light enough? Like, is it gonna really set my under eye nicely? Like, I don't know. So that's why I ended up going back to get the medium, but there you go. There's the, um, the deep. I think deep will be fine for you, Lori. Right. That's not going under my eye. That looks like my skin. So then, I mean, I'm going to use it because I have it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this powder. Shoot, the way this stuff blurs, I'm putting this all over my face. So next up is medium. I wish there was like a little tearing point where you could just tear that open. Again, let me get these, let me get these little confet the sequins or whatever. Let me get this off of here. I may actually keep these this time. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know that I would travel with Akeisha because it's very delicate. You'd have to be, you know, you'd have to pack it very well. It is compact and, you know, it's small in, in that that's what makes it great for travel, but it's also really delicate. I'm praying this one is also okay. Since it's coming from the lab, I, you know, I feel like it'll be all right. Okay, so that is all contained. And this is the medium one. Yeah, you know what? You're right, Coca. You're right. So here's medium. And let's just get a little reference one more time of deep. Medium's definitely gonna be my brightening. Definitely. So here we are. There's deep and there's medium. Enough of a difference for this to brighten, for sure. So I still have deep right here. And now, yep, hand is clean. We're gonna take, there's medium. Oh, this feels so, woo, honey. Just enough, just enough brightness. That is, an, that is an incredible veil. I'm in love. Okay, I'm in love with both of these. I'm definitely gonna try to hit my face with this. Um, let's just wipe that off real quick. And then we're gonna get into these concealers. So I ended up getting um, medium 20 and medium deep 23 for my concealers. Let's get this little... I'm not keeping these, so I'm not gonna be delicate with it. Okay, so yeah, this is a heavy bottle. They were right about that. It's a heavy vial. So this one here is number 23, and then I'm gonna open uh, 20 and we're gonna swatch them together. So just looking at them in the bottle, and this lighting is a bit golden. So forgive me. This is definitely more neutral than this one. Um, and a little bit brighter. Just a touch. Just a hair. I haven't, but I've seen things about it and I'm ready. I added it to the list of things to try this year. Oh my God. Oh, this feels really nice. This feels so smooth. That just glided on, honey. That just glided right on you, girl. Wow. Yeah, this is my kind of um, concealer color. Number 23 for me is my concealer shade. That's definitely my, my brightening concealer shade. This one is a touch neutral, but what I will end up doing is using it in the very inner corners for brightening. I like neutral for brightening. I like um, the golden 
uh, neutral to blend into my skin tone. So I'll put do it like I do my Dior. I'll put this um, closer to the inner and then this on the rest and blend it into my skin and it'll make a really nice transition from bright to my actual skin tone. I like that gradient, so that works for me. I'm glad I chose correctly for myself. Um, I'm enjoying that a lot, a lot. And just to give you guys a reference here, Right, here's my Pat McGrath. Here's my Pat McGrath foundation. This is number 26, medium deep 26. Okay. There's my foundation shade. So you see that's a that's a good transition. And then when you blend them all in, it just looks light to my skin tone. Oh yeah. You better believe it. Sunday's look is about to go down. <laughs> it's going down honey so those are the shades there and then I have the duo right they said um from what I understand the standalone brush is not included in here these are two different brushes but I don't think I need all three and these are my first Pat McGrath brushes I have not heard good things about her brushes uh, so well I'm glad I can be a reference for you Miss Sparkle I hope um I hope you can get your hands on these concealers sometime soon. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. How am I getting this off? All right, got you. I see you. I see. Okay. I might keep that um, confetti or whatever they call it and put it in my um, Fenty Beauty brush container. Are we good? Can I open her now? Jeez, please, come on. Hmm. It's like, I think, glued. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. There we go. That's a big one, honey. <laughs> she big. But this is nice. I think I saw her use this on her IG. Yes. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, this is cute, cute. Okay. And then this one here is just a smaller version of that for more detail work. I figure if you're going to pay 30 something for the one, you may as well just get two. You may as well get two. I think getting, I think you save about 10, 10 something, $10 or something like that. And then here's the smaller one. Let me just show you them side by side. Big difference. So you've got, you know, get all up in here. You could, you absolutely could. That sounds really great. That sounds fantastic. That sounds like Tom Ford is about to get paid a visit again. And let me just clear something up, all right? Kim, you should have been watching my previous live. Because then you would have heard <laughs> where I said. <laughs> <laughs> where I accidentally called him Uncle Tom. I did not mean to call him Uncle Tom, but I was trying to give him some familiarity. Like, you know how we call Pat, Auntie Pat? So then I said Uncle Tom, and then I was like, wait, it doesn't work for him. <laughs> it does not work for him at all. <laughs> that joke had me dying. I was through. <clears throat> Anyway, anyway, so there we are. I like the duo. I think this is a good little, you know, good little set to have. So that is it for the concealers and complexion products. Let's move into, <laughs> that is not true. Um, let's move into lippies, lip products. Let me clean up a little bit and then we'll get into it. Cause I'm not throwing out my lip packaging. I'm just obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> she gonna do me. That's all right, though. That's okay. That's okay. Let me 
These are so pretty. I have to keep these in a safe place. Just keep these very safe. Oof, child. What am I gonna do with these blushes? Where am I gonna put these bad boys? Um, I want these on display because I'm very proud of myself for finally getting these. <laughs> Let's keep those right up there for her bag. All right, Lux Trance and the Perma Gel liners, which you know I'm obsessed with. These are my favorite liners of life. They're just bomb.com. More, more, um, we call them damn things, sharpeners. <laughs> more sharpeners, honey. As if I don't have enough of them. Yes, my sweet baby. Can I help you? You want some Wawa? Yeah. You don't? You want to say hi to the people? No. You want food? I don't believe that. You know why? Because you just ate dinner. I see food. Oh, you want to feed the... Oh, Lord. Collection videos. Hi. I don't feel like I have much of a collection. Hi. I mean, I will. If you want me to. Um, thank you for saying hi. Can I kiss kiss? Ooh, now look. Come on. Now you're going to get foundation all over your fish. Put foundation on your fishy. Place. <laughs> Bar. All right. So. No, look. Don't. <laughs> You're gonna get foundation on the fish fit. He's gonna get foundation all over him. <laughs> Here, Bubba. Did y'all look at my community tab? Look at what that girl did for us. You have got to see it. Y'all, when, when we finish up this, uh, this chat right now, look at my community tab at the photo that this amazingly talented artist did for Nala and I. It is so gorgeous. I almost cried in the damn Chipotle. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I was getting dinner for, um, for us, and I was just like, and she told me, she's like, it's here. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> And then I'm looking at it and she's in like a goofball in the tank Chipotle going, oh my God. I love it. I love it. Mm. No words. I just can't even. I will happily pay this woman whatever she wants for another picture. I just can't wait. I think maybe um, I'll commission her to do one of my husband and, and Nala for um, his birthday. He won't watch this far in. <laughs> so, the secret's safe with us. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, these two are um, the ones that I didn't have. This is contour. Yes, girl, isn't it? Um, contour and buff. So, I'm just missing one more and that's undone. And then I'll have the whole collection. Here she go with these uh, bows again. Ooh, that's on tight, honey. That is on tight. Don't do me, Auntie Pat. Come on. Come on. I'm coming. <laughs> there we go. That took a lot of effort. Oh, these are your shades? Yeah, I like these. So far, so good. Yeah, I would use, um, what is this, uh, buff? I would use this to fill the lip in with a brown liner surrounding it. It's got a nice pink tone to it. Same thing with contour, really. Yeah, these are nice. You fill your lip in, throw some gloss on top. I love it. They're really beautiful. They're creamy. I'm just obsessed with these liners. And I have a backup of Extreme Black and... Um, and um, ground control already because those are my go-tos. And then we have two Lux Trans Lippies. And these are the two that I was eyeing to try the formula out. Um, so I just got these two um, for now. She has lowered the price by about $2. Okay. Haley Jo, how you doing, sis? Um, she's lowered the price by about $2 on the lip glosses and the uh, 
all the lipsticks. So they're all $38 for the lipsticks and um, I think $28 for the lip glosses now. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but I thought that was cute. Like, thank you. <laughs> so this is Madame Grage. Oh, wow. Is this Madame Grage? What color? No, this is Madame Grage. This is cute. Girl, I don't wait a minute now. The one that I tried in Sephora was so ashy, honey. It was dry. See, this is why you can't. You know what? You just gotta. You just gotta take the leap of faith. This is delicious. This one right here is Exotica. So we got Madame Grage at the top here, and then we got Exotica. These are delicious. These are delicious. Woo. Mmm. I'm into it. I'm into it. Listen, don't let that Madame Grace get you caught. Listen, get her. This is a coveted color right here. This is delicious. I know I keep saying delicious, but it is. Madame Grace is stunning. And um, this is the Lux Trance Formula. Madame Grace, let, check it out. Roll with me here. The Permagel Eyeliner in Shade which is the taupe shade with, with Madame Grage. I feel like that's, that's a winner. Oh, I hate that I missed that $10 sale. Oh, I would have got them all. Woo, I would have got all of them damn colors, even if they didn't work. <laughs> I would have just got the whole collection. Wow, man. Mm, this was quite a haul. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> This was fun. <laughs> this was absolutely amazing. Shout out to everybody. I agree, Patrice. I'm, I think that's what we're doing. We got to do something bright in the inner. We got to use one of the Marc Jacobs pencils on the um, inner waterline. We got to do that. We got to hit us hit some of these um, kajas. Um. Like I said, tomorrow, my other two Kaja Beauty uh, bentos are coming. That's the very last... Well, that's not true. I ordered from Juvia's Place, too. <laughs> I ordered from Juvia's Place. I'll give you guys a separate video for Juvia's Place, because I um, shopped the 40% off sale. I'm not shopping again. I'm not shopping again till next month. <laughs> <She got you. laughs> Woo! Well, Juvia's, they ain't give me no damn tracking update. I can't be waiting around for them. <laughs> I've been waiting on the track. Like, come on now, damn. But, um, <laughs> you know, I would have waited, but they, they ain't telling me when they're coming, so. Uh, so they'll have to get their own video. And uh, I mean, you know, that's fine. Dedicated video for Juvia's Place. Oh, goodness gracious. You see my lip? <laughs> Thank you, Patrice. Yeah, I, you know what? Um, the Dark Star was that I got with your um with that sorry so sorry 25 code um that's coming I think Friday or something like that um so I'll save that and, and haul it with the Juvia's Place or something like that but I just couldn't wait anymore I was like dang you know <laughs> Nala sweetheart what is happening let me show y'all what you're doing You having fun? Yeah, I have fun bows. All right, fun with the bows. <laughs> she has quite a bow collection. I just ordered this child 22 new wraps. Yeah. What went flying was one of her bows. <laughs> bows and turbans and all kinds of thing, thanks. These are her, these are her turbans. 
These are her bows. She has different size bows. She has bows on clips. She has bows on nylon. And she has wraps coming soon. The girl is just, listen, stacked to the brim. She used to be a brand representative for Little Loppers. Uh, so now she's, um, now she's just enjoying her, her, uh, oh, you guys, I have very big news coming very soon. Like bananas news. You guys, thank you so much, Patrice. You guys are going to, y'all going to lose it because I already lost it and it's not even time yet. <laughs> so stay tuned for the big news. I'll be making that announcement soon. I am going to get this one calmed down and ready for bed because we're rolling up on like 10 o'clock. Um, I'm sorry, 11 o'clock soon actually. So I'm gonna get on out of here. It has been so much fun. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like on your way out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish tidying up. <laughs> and then I will see you guys this weekend. I'll probably do the Juvia's Place haul on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we'll go ahead and put some of this makeup on. All right, y'all? All right, thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Become a J-Bay. And good night to you. Thank you so much.